standard. Absolutely yeah. beautiful yeah. Place, and man. hot, so all good things to get a little holiday for us. Yes. I've never seen an airport like that, to be honest with you, such a beautiful background. Yeah. Um, it kind of conjures up the images of John Lennon. Um, they're very, very famous pictures of him and him and Yoko. Mm. Um, so we, we tried to take a picture. Me and Mark had an embrace. We tried <laughs> it, it got weird. To, yeah, it got a bit weird. Getting married. No, it's just beautiful. You know, this is my first time uh, here. So uh, we're just uh, we're really looking forward to um, getting in, doing a sound check tonight, and then uh, then rocking Gibraltar tomorrow. Night. Rocking the rock. Yeah, very excited to see the venue now and get down and, and get a feel for the place. So uh, I was quite scared coming into land because I looked out the window and I was like, "Where's the runway?" Runway, runway, and runway. it's just it's constantly just water. And I was like, <laughs> what can we expect from your performance uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night? What will you be delivering to your fans? Um, I guess all the hits. You know, you're not going to do a headline spot if you don't play the, the favorite songs. Um, but we have a probably a surprise. It's not really a surprise now, but we are playing um, uh, some of the new record as well. We've been playing four or five songs from the new album as mm -hmm. well. So hopefully, yeah, that should go down well. And how's the promotion for that uh, fourth album coming along? It's going well. It's, we call it promo Geddon because uh, we're running around the world after yeah, after our music. Over. So, but it's it's always a healthy sign for us, and we're always really excited about putting a new album out. So, the fact that we're here, being able to promote yeah. our music, is a first for us as well yeah. because we've never ever been here. And so, the fact uh, there is promo, it means people still want to hear what we're doing. So, yeah. it's very positive for us. And their arrivals certainly didn't go amiss. With plenty of fans and some opportunistic passerbys making the most of the opportunity to meet the Irish band. The group, which is currently promoting its fourth album, were happy to sign autographs and pose for photos. They were even treated to a special presentation. But what does the band think about its headline status? That's uh, huge for us. You know, anytime that you get the honour to, uh, to, to headline a festival, considering when there's so many brilliant acts have done it or are on the same bill and have done it before. So, you, uh, yeah, you've got, got a lot to live up to. Um, but we're not taking it lightly by any stretch of the imagination. We're going to give you guys one hell of a show tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. A live performance relies heavily on audience participation and interaction, with a specific message from the script. Hang on to your hats. Get Come ready. to party. We brought ours, so hang on to theirs. <laughs> <laughs> we're wearing our danger hats, so we're ready. What's so special about performing live? I know you've brought that uh, to your latest yeah. album, but what is it about that energy and that F vibe? Feedback from fans, yeah. interaction, you know. I mean, it's one thing to record in the studio, but when you get on stage and you look at people and you play music and you see it move them, and when they sing back, this energy just goes back and forth between audience and band, and it just grows and grows and grows. That by the time you get halfway through the set it's just electric and you know you can have the most amazing experience you know in, in different venues around the world where you play and this is our first time playing here so it's already special you know so i think um just put us on stage we get to do what we're good at yeah we're not good at promo we're good yeah, at playing yeah, so exactly this is, this is not what we do <laughs> so we get to do yeah. what we do best you were talking there about chasing your music following your music how much has uh, social media changed uh, the whole take on the industry everything and i mean the great thing about it is you know the instant uh, interaction with with fans i mean we have direct contact with our fans which we love um, you've already tweeted yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um it really has it's changed everything and i think it's changed everything in a good way because years ago you know fame was this big illusion illusion and a monster everyone thought oh my god you know look at these guys and you couldn't get near the band and we're now they they have direct contact with us and we're very close to their fans and we adore them you know so um i think it's amazing what it's done for the music business mm -hmm.